Nothing better than coming to a basketball court after a long day of work. Today's Tuesday, my energy's high. I had a Spanish lesson today at 9 a.m. Which was, it was early, but it's hard for me to sleep past like eight, honestly like 7.45, 8 a.m. Just waking up naturally with like my circadian rhythm is honestly better than an alarm. I have to run today. I've been neglecting my runs and I have a race in maybe like 14, 15 days. Hoy tengo que correr ocho millas por mi media maratón. Mi media maratón es el 27 de abril. Mi meta es correr mi media maratón en menos dos horas. Before we continue the video, I want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Erman Miller. Armin Miller is one of my favorite brands, scratch that. One of my all time favorite brands. So I'm incredibly excited to talk about this partnership along with the chair they sent me the Ehrman Miller Aeron. Designed by Bill Stumpf and Don Chadwick, the Aeron chair redefined seating. Initially, I was concerned about getting a dark chair, but because this chair is made out of woven fiber, it contrasts well with any desk setup and looks so futuristic, the graphite color was the best choice to make. The Aeron offers six adjustments to optimize performance and comfort in your seat. These adjustments include seat height, lumbar support, posture fit SL, tilt tension, seat angle, and arm height. After stopping by my local Ehrman Miller showroom, I decided to go with the Aeron because it's a great option for someone like myself who has had a history of neck and shoulder issues, sits for extended periods of time, and it reinforces good posture, something I couldn't overlook. Not only the quality of the Aeron is premium, but so is the packaging and benefits. Upon delivery, the Aeron comes with no assembly required and a 12 year warranty standing behind their promise of high quality products built for continuous use. I couldn't imagine going with another chair brand after using an Ehrman Miller. The hype is real. Thank you to Ehrman Miller for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click the link in my bio to check out Ehrman Miller's incredible suite of ergonomic chairs and home office furniture. The kitchen is a little messy. I need to clean it up before I go downstairs. I don't think I'm gonna lift any weights because um, I'm still a bit under the weather from this past weekend, um, but I think I'm gonna run just like a nice little recovery mile. Honestly, it's really just to check off the recovery run I did last week because I'm behind on my Nike Run Club plan and it for mentally it just makes me feel a little bit better. And I have a responsibility to work out with my wife and I've been slacking the last couple of days, like not getting up in the morning. And the least I could do is go down there and maybe listen to an audio book, run for 15 minutes, stretch and just be there to support her. I don't know if you guys know this, but we're really proud of our new kitchen shelf. This looks this looks so clean. So it looks really industrial and just adds another element to our kitchen. And we use a task rabbit. Definitely recommend. We are so happy we did task rabbit because we found someone that we can trust and we know that we can always get something built now. It's just one of those things where like it's like a mental hurdle. Like we knew about task rabbit, but then for some reason we just never wanted to hire a task rabbit because we felt like it was easier to build it ourselves. No, no, no.
meeting coming up in an hour and I'm gonna go run to the coffee shop. I'm probably gonna hop on a Super 73 to get there quicker so I can have some time before this meeting to knock out some IC work is what we call it, individual contributor work. And then I have some more IC work, a little bit of coding and then a little bit of like research and brainstorming for a new blog post that I'm working on. Personally think these type of weeks give you a great picture of what it's like to be a developer advocate. This week I have a 50-50 split between software engineering, so maintaining one of our open source projects and then working on a blog post, which is more of the creative side. Since I have to run eight miles later on a day, I kind of need to carb up. So I have some leftovers, basically this like stuffed zucchini with um, ground turkey. We have like this Mexican blend rice, pico de gallo, sour cream, and some cilantro. It was, poof. La comida era muy rica. Since I'm being very intentional with what I eat, I need to weigh my food. So this scale has been my best friend. Since I'm carving up today, I'm probably gonna have like 150 grams of rice, which is a lot more than I usually eat. And if you're someone who's trying to lose weight, gain more muscle, two things I recommend doing, buying you a scale and using my fitness pal so you can know exactly what and how much you're putting in your body. That was a really good work session. I learned a lot in a few hours. One, I made some improvements to my blog post. I also read this interesting blog post from a developer advocate that used to work at Stripe and some insights in how they created their developer platform, which I think can be extremely valuable, especially for someone like myself who's new to developer advocacy. done doing some unit testing or attempting to and it's been a long time since I've been this stumped when it comes to programming and that's one thing about this role that can be complicated is the context switching since I'm not always programming it's hard to keep up to date with the newest trends or just staying in the flow of programming when I only do it at max like 50% of my job Honestly, I feel so drowsy right now trying to figure out how to do this unit testing. I think this would be a good time for me to step away and to go for a run. But then my brain is like, yo, you should probably take a nap or just call it a quits. But my body does feel pretty good. My back's a little tight, so I'm a foam roll. I know I should get out there. I know I shouldn't be lazy. So I figured I'd talk to you guys about this because it'll motivate me not to be lazy. Also just remembered that I have support and I could just leverage another team's expertise when it comes to this. Quick fit, quick run fit. I'm feeling fly. I might as well go ahead and go. I might as well. Throw the shades on. It's 70 degrees in New York City. Early April, it don't get no better than that. What's good guys, today's Wednesday and I underestimated how sore I'd be. I told you all I've been a bit under the weather, but I still decided to run eight miles yesterday. First mile was pretty tough. My heart rate was really high for some odd reason, even though I was only running at like a nine minute 45 to 10 minute per mile pace. I honestly thought that this would be one of those runs where I'd have to walk 
in between the run just because I just don't have the energy because I'm tired and obviously sick. But I noticed that I started feeling better each mile and I didn't stop. I actually ran a pretty good pace, like just under 10 minutes per mile for a little over eight miles. So it's really amazing what your body can do when you put your mind to it. You just kind of turn your brain off. The trees are blossoming in Prospect Park. It was like 65 degrees, close to 70 degrees during most of my run. I'm glad I went, I'm just sore. So I postponed my push workout to later on towards the afternoon because I had one, I haven't had time. I've had a couple meetings. I met with my manager for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. I also had a Spanish lesson. This workbench has been one of the most underrated desk setup purchases I've ever made. I've been needing these for a while now. I've been pushing it off, but I finally got some zip ties because my cable management, it's not clean right now. It's pretty messy. So I gotta do a better job, so I needed these. I don't even know where this came from. The screen protector accessory, like, and then here's a Gorilla Tape. So nothing crazy, but these little purchases make all the difference when it comes to your desk setup. What's good guys today is thursday and the week honestly went pretty fast even though i didn't have any like really strenuous like projects but the week is still going fast trying to stay active um a little bit sore from that eight mile run but nonetheless feeling really good i just got done jotting down my to-do list because i realized that i need to take advantage of days like today where i can not only relax but also be productive without spending hours working on. So I already had a meeting this morning with my team and it was a very productive meeting. We talked about what skill sets we wanna focus in on like for this quarter and almost like monthly, what is like the priority that maybe our team should focus on and like kind of workshop together. And the main focus was technical product management. For context, for those of you all who may not know why I switched to developer advocacy, it wasn't necessarily to create content as a software engineer for a company, but more so a stepping stone for me to become a technical product manager. I used to apply to technical product management roles almost like every six months. And I kept running into this wall where I didn't have enough soft skills. I didn't have enough experience managing a project, managing a team, dealing with conflict, basically the day-to-day -day things of being someone who is leading a project or managing a project. And since joining developer advocacy, that's changed so much in developer relations in general, because I first started out as a developer evangelist. I've gained so much experience these past, I can't believe almost two years, which would be the longest tenure I've ever had at a company. So with that said, I think it's important to pursue careers that may not be like your long-term goal, but maybe even a stepping stone. And I really love developer advocacy and don't see myself trying to become a technical product manager anytime soon. So this kind of stepping stone role has really turned into something that I could see me pursuing long-term. See, this is why I have to write out to-do lists because in my mind, I always think I have way more time than I actually do. I only have like in just under an hour until I have to go to my barber appointment and I haven't even gotten to the cafe yet.
what's good guys today's saturday i'm actually about to go hoop i got up at a really good time i woke up at like 8 a.m about to finish up this cup of coffee with my lovely wife and then she's allowing me to go hoop today guys can you believe it i always let you go hoop. <laughs> i literally never stop Okay, okay, yeah. That's what you're gonna say on. Think about getting a WeWork membership. If anyone has a WeWork membership, please comment below whether or not you think it's worth it. I'm fully remote. We don't even have an office in New York, so I definitely think it could be something that's worth it for me based on my working situation. Also made some pretty good progress with the unit testing. I feel like I'm so close. And I think the air that I'm having right now is something TypeScript related, um, where we just need to maybe make some syntax changes to our functions in order to be able to run the test. You know, the funny thing is, the coworkers that I was with yesterday at the co-working space are actually on the blog post team. So it's crazy how it worked out where the moment I started building momentum with the blog post, my coworker hit me up to go to a co-working space. <laughs> decided to take a walk. We we're thinking about walking all the way home because we had such a big lunch. It's not even considered a late lunch. It was 5 p.m. so technically dinner and we just stumbled upon probably one of the most beautiful streets we've seen in Brooklyn and we even found a home for sale. So I wanted to walk down the street because it gave me like Midwest vibes because <clears throat> these brownstones actually have front yards. Some of the properties have really nice hedges and then at the end of the street is this church that is probably like 400 feet tall and it looks like it was made in like the 19th century. Mm -hmm. 